Hi, my name's Angela and this is Reading Off My Shelf and I am going to go through books I have purchased in recent months. So recent book haul purchases. Um, I decided that I wouldn't do it sort of hopefully, well I say not hopefully, the plan is I'm not going to do them every month because I didn't want to overload my channel with too many hauls because I felt like I was doing a lot of hauls and nothing else. So anyhow, let's start. The first one I have, and I've got my box down here, so at one point I might have to bend down as I get to the bottom of the box, is Dolly Parton and <laughs> James Patterson's Run Rosie Run. Apparently this is the number one bestseller and it's gripping, heartbreaking, says Reese Witherspoon. The other thing is I am not going to go a lot into the books because I feel there's quite a few of them and I'm trying to make my videos a bit shorter. I got this and I'm hoping it says it on there. Yes, I got this in my Tea Time Bookshop subscription. So I, I, I pay so much a month and I get um, a book and usually a drink. I think this month it was uh, a couple of hot chocolates quite often. It's coffee bags, which I don't particularly like coffee bags love coffee but I don't like coffee bags I don't find them strong enough um and biscuits and actually there was a nice bag like tote bag in it as well but anyhow so James Pattinson Dolly Parton run Rosie Rowan I have actually got this book already I bought it in hardback so I don't know what I'm going to do with it as in I do prefer hardbacks so I might just pass this one on because there's no point in having two copies. Um, and then there was a there's a postcard, there was actually a bookmark as well in there as well that has the same thing. Books of booked avert a person who prefers a company of fictional characters to real people. I will laminate that actually and um use it as a bookmark. So like I say, I'm not going to go a lot into it. It says, every song tells a story. She's a star on the rise, singing about hard life behind her. She's also on, a, on the run, find a future, lose a past. Nashville is where she comes to claim her destiny. It's also where the, dar the darkness she fled might find her and destroy her. So I think originally, I mean, I do quite like James Pattinson. I like he's the ones where he has the number, the crime one about the like female crime club, where there's a, a lawyer, a, a somebody, a pathologist and a detective. So I do quite like his. And I thought, Johnny Palm. So we'll go with that. So yes, so that was the first one. I got that one in that box. Come on, we're at three minutes. Next one I got, um, and I'm pretty sure I got this off Vinted. And it is De Dial A for Aunties by Jessie Santino. Actually, I have got two books by her. This was on Booktube a couple of years ago or last year. Uh, they kill, they, they'd kill to see you happy. And I believe, isn't it about somebody who uh, kills, she accidentally kills a blind date, she turns to her aunties for help. Their meddling sets her up on a, uh, their meddling set her up on the date so they kind of own her. I had mixed reviews about it. It was on Vinted. Thought I tried. I did have it on my wish list for quite a while. So I got that one. The other one was a little bit further down the box. Otherwise I would have got that one out straight away. And I'm very disorganised. Then we have Joanne Harris. A narrow door. Man walks in the door. Walks in through the main gates. Woman... Uh, women have to improvise. Multi million. Now, is Joanne Harris? Is she the one that writes the chocolate? Uh, I could have made that up totally. No, there's no um. <laughs> ah, do, 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 do. yes, she's the one who writes the um chocolate series and things like that. And so basically. It's a thriller, don't know much about it. Um, men like you underestimate women like me. Mother, wife, widow, master, murderer. Yeah, so it's a psychological thriller that you can't put down. So there we go. 
who said that so there we go so that's a thriller do like a thriller got that again that one was off vintage i bought a bundle <sighs> next we have the uh coven <coughs> sorry by lizzie fry there's nothing more frightening than a powerful woman so i have no idea what this is about it was on my wish list sometimes i go through my wish list and have a look and think oh why did i put that on so um so a compelling tale of alternate alternate world with far too many scary similar similarities to our own let me repeat myself so we can be clear women are not the enemy it it is wish witchcraft that we are at war with hmm. why witches may use their gifts against one another and against us men dare i say it even our beloved innocent children we must rise above the ambition of power we must work to correct the balance and protect them from themselves just as much as we must protect ourselves so again i feel that's probably a bit of a a thriller being on as i say wish list for so long that um i uh thought i'd get it so this one here uh a terrible kindness by joe browning raw uh observer best debut novelist of 2022 this one i was in sainsbury's shopping i literally and um saw the cover thought oh that looks nice um yeah i cried well no i didn't cry i welled up i read the back and yeah i think this is going to break me right i'm going to try and summarize i'm trying not gonna well up so um it is in october 66 william levy was having a night the night of his life at his first black tie do but as the evening unfolds news hits of a landslide at a coal mine it has buried a school in Alberfen. so in wales this obviously was in 66 it was a horrific disaster that happened in the world's village where the pit heap they were just build just stuff after stuff on top of it water if i believe right got into it and it was a landslide it hit the school uh killed children killed teachers um and so this is a chap who is in the in bar he goes and he volunteers um so yeah i think that's gonna break me i really do i think it is gonna be just the subject matter it's gonna be so sad it's just i hope he does it justice i hope it is a well-written book and for all the sub as i said subject matter Although it does say it won a debut for his day, it won a prize for debut, so I'm hoping it is done in with sensitivity, respect. Um, obviously it is fiction, but it's mentioning a true, as I say, disaster, and it's just <sighs> right. Right. So the next one by Jesse Santano is Vera Wang unsolicited advice for murders um solving a murder isn't everyone's cup of tea I love books as well that talk about drinking tea and coffee and things like that I love a murder I love a mystery I love a thriller um and tea shop owner matchmaker detective 60 year old self-proclaimed tea expert Vera Wang enjoys nothing more than sipping a good cup of tea um, doing some healthy detective work on the internet aka checking up on her son to see if he's dating uh, anybody yet when she wakes up one morning to find a dead man in the middle of her tea shop <laughs> so 
think that would be good but that's the same author as dial m4 and t come on come on come on come on next one um <clears throat> christina or's lesson no idea the glass children ceiling light in the living room it's moving it was slowly swinging to and fro like a pendulum of an old clock it must be the draft from the window billy thought but all the windows in the living room were closed so how could the light be swinging to and fro um yes <clears throat> Billy had a bad feeling about his new house from the mo from the moment she stepped through the door. Oh, old and deca uh, decapitated. I can't decapitate it by myself. So that looks interesting. Oh, might be a little bit spooky. <clears throat> then, well, so <clears throat> I have the librarian of Ouch Wit Rich. I can't even see it. Um. So we have this one here. Uh, it was an, ex an extensive library. In fact, it consisted of eight books, but they were books. And in this incredibly dark place, they were a reminder of a less subdued time when words rang out more loudly than machine guns. 14 year old was one of the, was one of the many imprisoned by the Nazi so I'd, oh um just have a look I, i'm not sure based on a true story so yes it is i was going to say i'm not sure if it's based on a true story this is to well i've got two other books um run a bit of a theme anyhow put that one there then we have a book again that has been on my list for ages do you know i noticed when i was watching a video about the other day i always seem to have a niche anyhow um Catherine rydell the explorer this isn't this about when the, when the plane crashes four children are stranded in the amazon jungle and now they have to survive alone but was there was but was somebody there before them so this is a middle grade book that as i say been on my horizon for a wee while thought it would be interesting so i got that one i'm going to have to tidy these books up then i had who did i see read this or talk about this anyway bass rock i love the cover of that isn't that lovely cover um by evie is it weird anyway what's this um, in the early 1700s, seven, uh, 1700s, yes, Sarah was accused of being a witch. I do like a witchy book as well. As much as I like books about bookshops and um, tea clubs and drinking tea and tea shops and things like that, I do like a witchy one. Um, right, which, anyway, she's accused of being a witch, flees for her life. Um, in the aftermath of the Second World War, Ruth navigates a new house a new husband and a strange water of the local community six decades later the house stands empty viv is mourning the death of her father um catalogues ruth's belongings and discovers discovers her place in the past and perhaps a way forward i've heard quite a bit about that i do love that cover <laughs> so we've got that one Let's go with this one. I have now I know Emily from Novice Novel Novice loves these books, these Heather Morris books. So I've got the three sisters. Yes. I'm not sure which one. So I know the tattoo of and I cannot again I can't say ouchvich. I can't say ouch ouchvich. Um there's three books, isn't there? Based on the powerful true story of hope and survival. Why do I feel this is the third one? Yes, I have. It is. And is it Silka's Journey? Sil Silka Journey? You know what I'm like. I butcher people's names. Um, yeah. So we've got that. So, like I say, this is not by the same author, but 
we've got that one. I'm wondering if the other one. Oh no, I'm talking to myself. Then another one that was on my wish list for ages. Darkness Runs in the Family, Daisy, uh, Daisy Darker by Alice Freeney. Clever, compelling. Um, right, so this. Daisy Darker's family were as dark as dark can be. When one of them died, all of them lied and pretended not to see. So Daisy Dark is arriving at her grandmother's house for her 80th birthday, it's Halloween, it's a Cornish house perched on, on uh, perched upon its own tiny private island. It's, a, it's at one of the granite rocks it sits on. Isn't, so this, I'm wondering if this is, that's just sort of ringing true of now they were known. There was also other ones, wasn't there? Not the castaways. Oh man. Can't think. Not the getaway. There's an author who did the ones. There seems to be a running theme, wasn't there? Where people are stranded. Seem to be retellings of the things. Stranded on islands and somebody dies and people can't get off islands and you've got to figure out. Mind seeing that as I say the original. I do love when uh, and now there's none. And the Agatha Christie book. Um, yeah. And I'm trying to think. I kind of guessed who it was in, in that one. But I, uh, yes. So the original is my favourite. But we'll see. I've heard again mixed reviews about that. Some people have enjoyed it. Some people haven't. I'm guessing. I'm just saying. Um, family haven't been there for a. One of them is a killer. Not will be the same again. Yeah. So they haven't been together for decades, or have I been up here doing it? It's uh, always seems to run on the same thing. It'll put Lucy Fort Lucy Foley. Am I thinking of that? That one is it? So not like the getaway. There I go again, scratching my nose. Um yeah, I think it is. Is it called the getaway? Anyway, this chair. Thingy. <laughs> right. It's a rocking chair and it's sort of now the book the box isn't so heavy, it's kind of going backwards. Right, the uncoupling, Lorraine Brown. Somebody read this recently. Could one split second change her life? Who read it? Was it Chloe Reed's books? Chloe Reed's, was it? It's somebody I've read. Either that or was it, um, oh gosh. I can't remember my name. Oh, books and bargain. God, I mean, shut, no, she's not called Charlotte, is she? Everybody merges into one. I can't remember what she's called. Anyway, I think she might be called Charlotte. Anyway, somebody's read it. It might have been her from Books and Bargain, and I apologise that I can't remember her name. I want to call her Charlotte, but I could be absolutely totally wrong. Could have been her, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Uncoupling, this is... It's a magical modern love story. I've fallen head over heels in for Paris again a gorgeous romantic book and it won't it's it was packed full of joy I hope there's not too much and it's not because it's Paris too much ooh la la in it because I, I don't like smut anyway I'm not a, a smutty reader um I don't mind a sort of contemporary fiction light romance um but yeah i don't like things that just anyhow so apparently hannah and si were were in love and they're on the uh, and they're on the same track that's until the train uh divides on its way to a wedding everybody's always going to the wedding uh the next morning hannah wakes up in paris and realizes that her boyfriend and her ticket are 300 miles away but Hannah meets Leo on the station platform and he's everything Sai isn't. Spending the day with him in Paris forces Hannah to question how well she really knows herself and whether sometimes you need to go to the wrong di in the wrong direction to find everything you've been looking for. Delicious modern love story sweeps you off your feet. Perfect for a fan of Beth O'Leary and Laura Jane Williams. So yes, hopefully... It's a nice romance and not 
smushy. Anyhow, so that one's that one. I've seen somebody reading. I want to say, it was, I'm sure she's called Charlotte. Anyway, I'm going to get this box. <clears throat> I thought it must have been in another book haul. I could have sworn that I'd gotten them two um, Heather Morris books. Might have been in, uh, in uh, my, my last book haul one. Anyhow, I already, so I now have the three Heather Morris books anyhow. Right, so then I, uh, the final three books you'll be pleased to hear. Gosh, where are we at? 20 minutes. And um, The Tower at the End of Time by Amy Sparks. Um, it's another middle grade. I like a middle grade. I like just, I want to say the innocence of it, but there's just, I don't know, I like and There's always some fun and it's whimsical. I, I like a middle grade anyway. Uh, Magical Warm, it's, ter it's Terry Hatchet meets... Diana Wynne Jones. So the Tower at the End of Time holds the greatest prize of all the answer to any question. To get there, nine, nine and her friends must triumph at the Wizardry Hot Scotch Championship. So, so she's got to win there. And the prizes obviously go to this Tower at the End of Time. Anyway, so she's got they've got a triumph at the uh, at these wizard wizardry hot scot championships. But when their magical house gets the hiccups, oh, oh, oh isn't it gonna be funny? Oh, hopefully, it starts uh, <clears throat> bouncing uncontrollably from the world to uh, from world to world, and it looks like their chances might have been scuppered before they even begin. And the other one is the house on the edge of uh, edge of magic. So I've got that one. I'm sure I've got that one, and that's why I bought this one. <clears throat> I think that must be on my middle grade shelf. Now this one must have been my rare books um, book. I've since cancelled this uh, subscription. I thought I need to save some money. I need to pull the reins in a little bit. Um, and that's and this one is The Raptures by Jan Carson. No idea what it's about. Um, might tell me this. Uh, oh, that's just talking about the, the book pick. All right, so this is in the summer of 1993 in a rural village in Ballylath. Uh, the lives are about to change forever. Child sickens and dies and then another and another as the village search desperately for answers. 11-year-old Hannah is haunted by the ghost of her dead classmates. Oh, <laughs> So this is not just little contemporary fiction. You get with with where with rare books you get sort of two synopsises and you you don't know what the book's called, and you pick and obviously this is the one that I thought sounded more most interesting. Like I can see I've since cancelled it, but anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. So basically, it looks like somebody's haunting this young girl. Uh, Right, put that in there and you get like a, a bookmark with it. And it's a final one. I'm not quite pleased, 23 minutes, I've done longer. Anyhow, Agatha Christie, The Mousetrap, the 70th anniversary edition. I bought this purely because it's the 70th anniversary. I love Agatha Christie. Um, I love The Mousetrap. I have seen it at least twice, I think three times, at least twice, it might only just be twice, but it was one of those things, I was very fortunate my grandfather lived in London when I was uh, growing up and so therefore I was really fortunate that we were we would visit two or three times a year and being able to, because he lived in the centre of London, we were very fortunate we could go to the theatre and I remember being a young child 
and the mouse trap was on at the theatre near Trafalgar Square. Obviously, it's moved around over the years because it's been going for 70 years. Um, um, and it was one of those things I had on my bucket list thinking, I want to see that play at some point. Move forward many, 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 many years. I did actually manage to see it. As it happens, it wasn't in London now. But I will like to see it in London. Um, but yay for me. I guessed who did it when I was watching it. Lips are sealed. Because it does actually say at the back. At uh, the back. Because I'm reading the back there. At the end of the play. Please keep this a secret. Please don't talk about it. As in don't say. Uh, don't tell us who did it. Um... And this just says the perfect survey, a Sylvania edition of the official official play script, an exclusive backstage material uh, introduced by best-selling crime writer Sophie Hanna. And like I say, I basically bought this because I love it. I love the mouse trap. It was like I say, a dream to see it. Um, and the MP just got it bookmark um yeah i mean i'm just trying to it'll tell you actually it'll tell you in the front won't it when it started because obviously she wrote the book for well she wrote the play didn't she uh script play production limited 1952 so obviously this is older now anyway but yes but yeah and it's just it's what it says on the tin it's a script this is purely a uh, keepsake this is um yeah just absolutely i love it i love i love the mouse trap and would love to see it again i'm just looking at it, talking about the years so that says 2010 2015 so right 2022 so we're only kind of obviously the 70 years was last year so yeah so that is purely a, a keepsake on my shelf because i don't keep my books very often when i've read them i do have loads of books that i need to read but yes yeah, so yeah that is purely a keepsake buy anywho anywho 30 minutes crumbs if you've stuck to me till the end thank you very much if you don't already subscribe my channel please do so um i say it all the time i'm figuring it out i am a young channel um but i fully enjoy it i'm getting my confidence up as i go along i feel it myself i am i don't know if it comes across to yourselves um so give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video comment down below if you read any of these books please no spoilers um, any book recommendations you have and if you do get to the end of the video because as I said again quite often I think people don't watch to the end anyway give me um, just well just the book emoji that's the book emoji um yeah so thank you for watching bye